Okay, here is our honey extracting tutorial. Here's our box of honey. Here's a frame we're going to extract. You can see there's two colors of honey, dark honey in there and lighter. These are the wax cappings. The bees cap it over with wax. Pretty cool. I'm going to cut that off with this knife. Cutting it off here and the wax cappings go in there. Then we put our frames in the extractor. Right here. It's going to go in there. It's going to come out the bottom. It goes in this bucket from there. You can see there's some honey in there. And we put these two filters just to strain out the little pieces of wax and your little bee parts like legs and wings and whatnot that you really don't want floating around in your honey. So I'm going to get started. Okay, I've cut the cappings off of this one. You can see the honey is exposed in the comb. And like I said, we have our light and a little bit of dark honey. There's more of the cappings that I cut off. And later on, all these get melted down into nice, beautiful beeswax cakes. So, putting this one in the extractor. And there's room for three, two more for a total of three. And I'll show you how I spin it, but I have to cut off two more frames. So this is interesting. We get this a lot. You can see the light and the dark honey. This frame's really dark. This frame's really light. And that just depends what flowers they've gathered the nectar from. Some flower nectars make dark and some make light, but it's all sticky goodness. Okay, there's three frames in there. I can't crank and film, but I'll just do one crank. Well, maybe I can. You crank it, it spins out the honey. Honey flies out to the sides of the tank, goes down the bottom, collects, open the valve, and it'll go in the bucket. Now you can see some more honey collecting in the bottom of the tank. Look at all that. Okay, now we have so much honey in here that it won't spin properly. See, it's dragging through the honey in the bottom. So it's time to open the honey gate. There it goes, through the filter. And let me tell you, when you're spinning this honey out, the smell of honey comes poofing out the top here and the whole garage smells like honey. So it really smells good. There we go. And you can see the little bits of wax and that'll all stay up in the strainer and the nice clean honey will go through and fill up this bucket. So now I've extracted almost all those frames. Here's the wax and crud that's in the filter. So I'll take that off and show you the honey. And here we go, a nice bucket of honey. On the top there's foam and bubbles just from the draining process. So you leave that sit overnight, bubbles rise to the surface, you skim them off, 
put this up on a table and open that valve to fill up your bottles full of sticky liquid gold and here's one more view this is called the cappings tank it has a valve too these are all the wax cappings I cut off with the knife from the comb and they're all spread out on a grate you can see the honey is draining out of them and the honey is under this grate then we open the valve on this and put this in a jar and we usually keep the cappings honey for ourselves, just in case there's any pieces of wax in it so there you have it that is our honey extraction process I hope you enjoyed watching it